Hello, hello. Welcome back to New Think. My name is Eva. And if you're here for the first time, I'd like to welcome you and ask you to click that subscribe button and um, like the video as well as comment. I'd love to hear from you. And um, yeah, so please subscribe. And if you have been our subscriber already, then we just thank you so much. I just wanted to say how much we appreciate you. And um, today, I actually have been asked, um, you know, on several occasions to do some essential oil videos. And as I've been trying to get ready for that, um, last week I had uh, gone uh, to a park with, um, with my kids and, and I fell. Um, so long story short, um, I had uh, a knee problem and um, you know of course the first thing that my friend did, which I am so grateful for because that is the, you know, the best thing, she prayed and she just put her hand on my knee and said in the name of Jesus nothing broken, nothing missing, um, nothing misaligned and I received it and I said oh yeah, I said this knee is not broken but honestly <laughs> the pain was so bad as well as um, I, you know, I couldn't get up for like 10 minutes. Uh, as I fell, I was coming off a rock wall, <laughs> helping my daughter, and I stepped down, not thinking that the step down was so, um, you know, so um, high. And I just, I don't know, I just lost my balance. My knee, it seemed like it popped, and I was sure that it was broken, okay? So when I felt, I felt nauseous, I got dizzy, I right away told my kids, I was like, get my friend right now, and uh, shout out to Marika, because um, she is, um, you know, the one that was with me, and we were like, what am I going to do? But um, somehow, um, you know, with uh, God's grace, I was able to pick myself up, and um, I just kept walking on it, and as she put her uh, hands on my knee, I just thank God. I'm like, no, it's not broken. It's not, you know, there's nothing um, broken, nothing missing, nothing misaligned. So thank you, Jesus. Um, but I have to say, okay, so we know that when we pray, sometimes the manifestation doesn't come right away. And I tell you, my, the pain in my knee and like behind my knee was so bad and especially uh, excruciating pain at night. I was so nauseous that I felt like, oh my gosh, I just didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, and, you know, I guess the body, uh, the whole body can react like this to an injury. So it was pretty scary. Um, but um, I know that there are great essential oils that um, we can use on the knee. Of course, I was icing it too. So that would be like the first thing that I would recommend is to ice uh, on top and on the bottom. And then I, I wrapped it in a, um, you know, like um, a bandage, um, elastic bandage, and, you know, just kept the ice on as long as I could. And that helped a lot. But still, I was experiencing pain. So what I did was um, I researched a little bit some other um, natural remedies but I had oils and these are not all of them but these are some oils now I know the best oils for any kind of um, injury are peppermint and wintergreen so thankfully I had peppermint I didn't have wintergreen on hand I had researched this um, like a natural ointment uh, to make um, for my knee so the first ingredient that I used was coconut oil Okay, cause and, um, so I had taken some coconut oil and I put it in a little dish and this is just leftovers because I use a lot of it, but I just want to show you. Um, yeah, so I put the like a tablespoon of coconut oil in there and then I know it might st sound strange to some people, to some might not, but I took uh, turmeric, cayenne pepper and ginger, okay, spices. And I just put it in there, and I would say about a quarter, at least a quarter of a teaspoon of each, and I put it in a bowl. I just mixed it, and then I took some, let me see, peppermint. I'm just going to see if I can find it. I think I have it here. Yep, peppermint essential oil that you can apply topically. And, and I just, you know, opened it up. 
I applied it on my knee, um, you know, by itself at first too. But here, I just put it in, I would say I probably put in good, you know, 10 drops. Now you can experiment with it because coconut um, peppermint oil is very strong. So you might not feel comfortable with putting in 10 drops, but you know, I've been using essential oils for like five years, so I'm comfortable with that. So I just use like 10, um, 10 drops of peppermint essential oil and um, mix it all together. And then I would just apply it on my knee. And I would, I would just do it like every 30 minutes. I would just apply it on, apply it on in the front of my knee, in the back of my knee, just so I can, so those spices, they can absorb into my skin with the coconut oil and reduce inflammation because all those spices are anti-inflammatory. Now, I didn't give a disclaimer right in the beginning of my video. I am not a doctor. I'm not any kind of medical professional. Uh, all I'm sharing with you and telling you is just from my own um, experience. So uh, these are just suggestions, and if you'd like, you can try them. But being said, um, so I've been using this um, since and five days, and I can tell you right now that my knee... Um, I want well, the um, the inflammation has gone down. It, I'm still experiencing some pain in the back, so I'm applying my ointment. But um, I don't believe that my knee could be broken, so I'm just now. When I fell, okay, I also had it was it was I felt like I was in a car accident <laughs> because um, I just fell straight down and my back was hurting me, my head was hurting me. So again, I just kept using peppermint essential oil. I also had some frankincense left over, which is like amazing, amazing essential oil. And it's great for so many, so many things. So I just been using, uh, you know, those, um, those oils um, to, to help my headache. I've also been drinking, uh, and I don't have a Vitality in front of me, this is just a regular lemon, so you can use this one topically or in a diffuser, but there is a lemon vitality that you can digest. So I've been drinking a lot of lemon vitality to kind of flush out any toxins, just anything to help, you know, my head um, feel better. And um, yeah, so today I can say, I can honestly say that my knee um, is probably about 80% better. So I'm hoping then two, three more days and, you know, that I'll feel comfortable. But um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully, um, you know, this will um, help somebody. I also heard that for uh, joint, you know, any kind of arthritis or joint pains, uh, anything like that, that this ointment is amazing. Um, so, uh, so, you know, it's not just for an injury, I guess, but if you have any kind of pains or discomforts and what I love is that it's natural and all these spices that are in it, um, you know, they absorb into your skin, they go into your bloodstream and reduce, uh, inflammation and, and, and just, um, you know, uh, uh, amazing overall for your body. So I just wanted to share it with you and, um, and hopefully, um, you know, that would be helpful to somebody. Now, I am still planning to do just uh, an essential oil video. So guys, please stay tuned and um, like my three favorite oils and um, we'll talk about that and what they're good for and what systems they support and how I use them. So please stay tuned and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if so, please give it a huge thumbs up and um, let me know if you have any, you know, things that um, in your body, achy things that you might want to try this ointment. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, enjoy your evening or enjoy your day and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!